Bone here. How are you all doing today? Right, today's little lesson um, is um, a Johnny Cash one. This is called Folsom Prison Blues. Um, someone, I'm sort of going through my list of all the requests that I've been getting. Um, I get quite a lot of requests for people saying, yeah, great doing your one finger thing. What about a bit of slide? I actually don't do a lot of slide work. I do a lot of lap still work, but not a lot of slide work um, um, with the guitar like this. Um, so this is sort of my interpretation of uh, Force and Prison Blues. Now, I think Johnny Cash, I think, originally did it in F. Um, I'm going to do it in G, because I'm on a, a three string. Um, I can do a lesson if people want to know how to do it with chords in the F. Um, this one obviously is a, a slide guitar, so it's out for slide, so it's a bit more difficult to try and do it on, the, on in F on this one. Um, I'm going through my trusty um, Vox. I've got a little bit of distortion on it. Because you've got to get that sort of shuffly thing. Now, if you can, if you can finger pick, then all well and good. finger picking it's good um, I'm gonna do it sort of a bit of a shuffle with a slide um, it's great because um you know all you got to do is have a slide there's no sort of finger picking I mean you can add bits in like do all sorts of things with it as I say I'm playing it here in G um, um, it uh, you could tune your guitar if you wanted to F you know it would be F C F um, and then you could play it in F um, but it's just easier I use this one in G so I'm doing it in G um, it's quite a simple one um, so you just need your guitar tuned to G which is G D G and all you're going to be doing is obviously it's, it's open for your G you're going to be doing the C now when you're playing with a slide, don't forget, you have to have the slide on right up over the top of the fret. And you don't press right down to the fret, you just you're lightly put it on the string. Um, so it's F, uh, sorry, it's um, G, um, a D and a C. These are the three chords you're going to have. And what I sort of do is, um, is to get that train sort of going, is that... And mute with this hand. So up and down, so... So 
So you're sort of doing a muting up and wibble. If you can finger pick it. You can sort of get that finger picking, that sort of Johnny Cash style. Um, so I'm sort of doing it in that sort of style. So what it is, is you're just muting with this hand and you're getting that shuffling sort of sound. So it's E, C, uh, so it's G. Hear that train coming, rolling round the bend. Ain't seen no sunshine, and you go to the sea. Don't get over top. I don't know when, because I'm stuck in the of prison. Time keeps dragging on. So slow down, two frets. Learn then dash to the team. Just add that little slidey bit in, just gives it a little bit of lift on the song. All I'm doing is I'm going from the third fret middle string, sliding up to the strum lower strings, and sliding up to the fifth fret. Just shaking it a little bit, give it a bit of a bar to um, Yeah, so it's quite a simple one, and I say it's just with one. I mean, you could play it without the slide, um, not quite on this guitar, but you can play it just, you know, just by fretting it with one finger. So you could do it just with one finger if you don't want if you can't play with a slide. Um, the only difference is with a slide, don't forget you're playing over the top of the fret and not just in front of the fret. Now if you do it with one finger, you're playing just with one finger. So it's dead simple. The first chord is G, which is open. And if you were in, obviously if you had your guitar tuned to F, um, it would be exactly the same chord, same sequence. You'd be playing an F there. And obviously you'd be going down here the same sequence as you were playing it if you were playing it in G. So let's say the first chord is G, open. The next chord is the C, all strings, fifth fret. And the D is all strings on the seventh fret. And then all I do is when I'm doing it, I bring it down to sort of like them. Going down to the, the third fret all strings. It's just about getting that shuffle rhythm here, and it's a lots of muting. I'll come to a close-up so you can see what I'm doing with the muting, and also what I'm doing with the slide when I do it with a slide. We are here. We are up here with now as a close-up. So I say the first the first chord is the open chord. The next chord is on the fifth fret. All fingers. And the, the last chord is this one, which is on the 7th fret. And if you do it with slide, you should slide up to it. And when you're doing that, you're, where, where the fret is there, the slide must be over the top of the fret, not in the front of the fret, on top of the fret. So you must remember that. And I'm not pushing down, I'm not pushing down 
You know, it's just very light. So you're just pressing very lightly. You're not pressing right down, you're just, just touching the strings and just lightly kissing the strings. I mean, a good thing with, if you want to learn with the slide is just to get your slide. I'm using a metal one here. I use ceramic. I, I've just picked up a metal one here. Um, you can use glass, ceramic, metal. Um, it's, best, it's sort of good ideas to line, get the slide so you get the sound is to get used to just going up and down the f above the fret. Now, one thing I find it difficult, that's why I play lap still, is you need to get these fingers behind it to stop it ringing out. But I, I sort of just let it ring out. So if I was playing it on a lap, I'd play it here and I'd be, these fingers at the back here would be. You know, they would be muting it. Um, I don't worry about that, I let it ring out. Just gives it a bit more sound. A lot of people say, oh, shouldn't do that, shouldn't do that. Who cares, it's three string guitar. So, as I say, it's just that shuffle. And all I'm doing is sort of muting. Muting with your palm, your palm of your hand. Muting here. Remember that, that. Then to the seventh fret. doing that slightly bit if you want to put that in it's just going from the middle string third fret sliding up to the fifth fret but I'm strumming all, all the strings So it's, it's quite a simple little song really, I mean, it's quite easy, you know, one finger, three chords, or, you know, play with the slide. You know? um, add little bits in, and then you come up to the 12th, because obviously the 12th is the same as the open. So quite a simple little song really, um, you know, it couldn't be easier. It's one of those ones, just play around with it, get used to the muting, and you can do all sorts of things with it, you know. And all I'm doing there is I'm playing on one, one string. So going from the fifth, seventh, fifth, third. Just to give it a bit of lift, give it a little bit of fluffiness in the song. Um, okay, I'll sit back down. So yeah, a little bit of Johnny Cash, you know. Um, not perfect, but there again, we're playing three string. It's not supposed to be perfect. It's supposed to do it how you want to do it. You know, get that sound that you want, you know. If you want to do it in Johnny Castle, go get yourself a six string, play in F, get that little riff he does, 
and away you go. But on the whole, you know, it's a fun song. People that sing along are tapped to it. <laughs> Fulton Prison Blue, Johnny Cash on the old three string cigar box style. I'd say this is set up for slide, so um, you know, someone asked me if you can do it on slide. Yes, you can do it on slide, and I think there's a few other people on, on YouTube show you how to do it on slide. I'm not the best slide person in the world, player in the world, uh, as I say, I play more sort of lap still than going up this way. Um, but there you go, quick, little, simple one, easy. Johnny Cash, Fulton Prison Blues on the old three string in G. Bye for now, Mark the Bum. See you again soon.